Hi, I'm Karen Mossman. I'm the Vice President for Research and a faculty member in Health Sciences at McMaster University. Well, Karen, it's a pleasure to be speaking to you today. Thank you so much for taking the time. Um, I just want to start with a general overview uh, and see how you would characterize Canada uh, in terms of our global position in the life sciences. And from your perspective, as somebody who's been in it for quite a while, how you've seen the sector evolve and what you see as our strengths and our weaknesses and where it's going. Canada, and as a direct result of investment in, in people, in research, in infrastructure, um, through a variety of different funding programs and partnership programs, is better positioned than I think it ever has been to take its place on the world stage as a global leader in health sciences. Um, we have built a national capacity in basic research, which is that investigative curiosity-driven research, and also applied research, which has that practical or commercial um, objectives and we do have the requisite partnership and incentive programs in place to allow academic institutions and their researchers to, to really work alongside industry to ensure our research outcomes are placed in the hands of those who can put it to best use. And that really allows Canada to drive innovation, to train the next generation, and to advance our global leadership position. That sounds great. Really positive note to start on. Um, I want to drill down a little bit. Obviously, you're with McMaster University out of Hamilton. If you look at Hamilton and the region specifically, um, what do you see as its uh, USPs or uh, its particular strengths in the life sciences sector um, that put it, set it apart or differentiate it from other uh, life sciences hubs? Hamilton is home to really world-class, fully integrated um, education, research, healthcare institutions. And this is what provides businesses with that immediate access to talent and state-of-the-art um, infrastructure. And that integration piece is facilitated by the size of Hamilton. I think of it as the Goldilocks scenario. Um, Hamilton is big enough for critical mass and yet small enough that it really is a community that allows for those interactions to take place. Um, it is home to the country's most research intensive university, being McMaster University, and also one of the strongest hospital networks in the country, um, and also collaboratively global leader in clinical trials. Um, we have a created a really great innovation ecosystem centered at McMaster Innovation Park or MIP, which is the core of one of Ontario's fastest growing life sciences hubs. And that really gives our researchers a natural pathway to commercialize their work and that, ne and that necessary infrastructure to spin out their research to create these startup companies um, for startups to scale ups, and for those international companies to enter into the Canadian and North American uh, markets. And it will be the headquarters of Canada's global nexus for pandemics and biological threats, which again is connecting um, it to the universities, to research institutes, to public health agencies, to governments of all levels, industry labs, not-for-profits. And I believe this will really be a game changer in our ability to attract and retain um, industry and all of the talent that's affiliated with that. Not just the size of Hamilton, but also the location, I think, is a, a real key to our success. We're at the heart of a globally renowned health innovation corridor that stretches from Toronto to Buffalo. We're a gateway to the US, to global markets. We have land, rail, air, water. So it's, it's, it's that perfect size and the perfect location. In that answer, you spoke about the, um, the, the richness and the, the strengths in terms of research. Uh, that come from obviously McMaster University, your organization, but of course there are other uh, educational institutions within the ecosystem. Um, who do you see as the main, the, the other main players within the research and education ecosystem for life sciences in Hamilton? And do these organizations collaborate? If so, how does that occur? 
certainly in, you know, in Hamilton, especially with McMaster, um, it, it's not by accident, um, you know, that we're a leader in, in life sciences research. It really has been a deliberate focus on that collective strength and the strategic plan for action. Um, not only is it McMaster University, it's also um, colleges. We work very closely with, uh, with Mohawk College, the research institutes at our hospitals, um, and, and also with the city of Hamilton and, and at the Innovation Park. And it's that sort of collective strength that, um, that really provides an environment that welcomes, explores, advances new technologies. And we're, we're really fortunate that not even just within, within Hamilton, having McMaster, um, Mohawk College, and the other research institutes, but within about an hour's drive of us, we have a number of other leading universities and colleges that we do collaborate with. Um, you know, Waterloo, Toronto, Western, um, Guelph. And it's, it's these collaborations that, that really allow that creation of a world-class academic and research program um, that ensures we are graduating those highly qualified uh, the people that are immediately prepared for the workforce. And it is very complementary. So even if we just look at, you know, Mohawk College, McMaster, and say the University of Guelph, it, it provides that fulsome um, continuum between, you know, real hands-on practical approaches, you know, that health science perspective um, from McMaster and that um, animal and the animal health perspective from Guelph. And so when you really think about life sciences and a one health approach, it's, you know, that those collaborative efforts that really allow us to, to have an, an impact not, I would say, just within Hamilton, but also within our, our region, within Southern Ontario. Now, from the perspective of a foreign investor, obviously talent is key. Um, you've touched on the research and innovation uh, uh, talent uh, subsector, let's say. In terms of management and executive talent, do you see that being available in uh, Hamilton as well? Absolutely. Um, you know, not just, you know, in providing from, for example, from our business school, um, you know, that expertise, we've also developed as a need, as a growing need within the sector to really be multidisciplinary and to train our students, not just to have, you know, expertise in, in one area, but to have expertise, for example, in life sciences, health sciences, research, but also in the business side, the commercialization side, the, um, you know, the management side, um, been really working um, at the university, for example, in, in programs that are combined between the Faculty of Health Science and the Department of Biochemistry and our business school, so that we can train our students not just in, you know, the life and health sciences, but also aspects of entrepreneurship and management and um, commercialization. How do you see the relationship in Hamilton between its academic and research institutions uh, and, of course, the private sector, the business sector, in terms of translating that research into products and services that improve and save lives? Uh, and what impact does that have in terms of, tra of attracting uh, foreign investment to the space? Partnerships are really in McMaster's DNA. It's, it's what we do and it's what we do really well, um, locally and nationally and globally. Um, we continue as a university to outpace all of our peers across the country in our ability to attract corporate funding because of our reputation as a trusted and reliable partner. Um, we have deep expertise in the McMaster Industry Liaison Office. They're seasoned business development professionals really focused on creating and identifying those opportunities um, for industry collaborations. Um, they have extensive knowledge on funding and incentive programs to advance that innovative research and development partnerships. And of course, at the, the heart of this for the, for the university and for the city really is McMaster Innovation Park. And it really is the core of um, Ontario's fastest growing life sciences hub. 
And it's it's where we have our spinoff companies. It, it, it's the home to our spinoff companies like Fusion Pharmaceuticals, um, Triumvira Immunologics, and Century Therapeutics Canada. And, you know, these companies and many others um, not only get their start there, but they're committed to staying and they're committed to being part of the McMaster community and part of the city's really robust life sciences sector. I could go on for a long time, but uh, I don't want to keep you here too long. I'll keep you for 30 seconds more, if you don't mind. And what I'd like you to do is in 30 seconds, uh, if you had to pitch Hamilton to foreign life sciences investors, uh, considering their next investment destination, um, what would you put forward in terms of why Hamilton should be the place? So I firmly believe Hamilton is the go-to place for growing life sciences companies. It's loaded with opportunities, talent, infrastructure, um, Hamilton is home to unmatched hospital networks, world leading academic institutions, and the solid and ever growing base of private sector life sciences companies, large and small, and Canada's premier research university and innovation park in uh, McMaster Innovation Park. It's creative, fun, diverse, multicultural. Um, and I think that gives the city a competitive edge with, ac with access to global markets and highly educated workforce. Um, you know, simply put, it's a great place to live, work and play. And it's why I have been here for 20 years. <laughs>